seven tips for staying focused. Now, staying focused is something a lot of people struggle with. It's something I personally struggled with pretty much my entire life, but I'm going to get straight to the point for those of you who might have ADD, ADHD, and have trouble focusing. Seven tips. Let's get into number one. These are things that have helped me focus a lot more than I was able to, and I think will help you as well. Number one is just to remove all distractions. So many times your attention or your focus is moved from one thing to another quickly, and that can get you out of whatever groove you're in. Personally, when I work, I like to sit down, have everything else off. I listen to music personally, and that helps me kind of focus, get in the zone, and it can take some time. But if I get a text or if I go scroll Instagram or if I go try and even do something like, oh, let me throw the laundry in the washer real quick and then I'll come back. And even if it takes one minute, that's something that will shift my focus and getting into that initial kind of mindset and that focus is the hard part. Once you're in it, you can stay in it for a decent amount of time, but really starting is the hard part. So removing all distractions and part of this is working in an environment you're used to. So I know I have a specific room. This is my office. I only work in here. I work at the same time every single day at the same place. And that's all this room is used for. I know when I sit at this desk, that means I am working. I do nothing else. And some people like to do things like, okay, when it's time to work, I might chew gum every time. And that's my way of letting my body know, okay, it's time to focus and to work or to study or whatever you're doing. Or some people will light a candle and that's something I did for a little bit. I just don't like candles that much, but that is number one. Same time, same place, remove all distractions. And a lot of these are going to be personal for some people. This is just what has worked for me. Number two is doing a single subject on a single day. Now, this might not be possible depending on your work or your school or whatever you're trying to focus on. But for me personally, let's say I have multiple things I'm working on at once. I do not do well going from, okay, let me do 30 minutes of this, an hour of this, and an hour of this. If I'm working on making YouTube videos, that's all I want to focus on that day because it's easier to get my mind in that headspace than to go from one thing and then let's say I want to go do product research for Amazon. Well, then I have to switch that focus and that becomes more difficult. So I like to put, I like to break my tasks into one single subject for a day. Again, might not be possible, but you have to do your best and figure out what works for you. Number three is to have two things going on at once. And I know this is gonna sound like the opposite of what I just said, but if you're someone who is maybe working on something you don't enjoy that much or doing something you don't want to do. It's good to have two things kind of in your pipeline. So when you get tired of one, you can procrastinate with the other and still benefit from that. And it should be something you're enjoying, but something that is also benefiting you as well. So having something to, I'd say properly procrastinate or beneficially procrastinate can help you. This might distract some people, like I said, but this is something I like to have where if I'm done for the day with my one subject, but I still kind of want to do something, maybe my focus isn't there, then I can go to whatever my second project is. And it could be just something you really enjoy, a hobby, whatever it is. And that's where I'll shift my focus when I feel like I'm out of focus. And one thing to keep in mind with all of this is you really have a couple hours each day. I like to think you have two to four hours per day of where you have like brain power, you can focus very intensely, you can get things done. And then the rest of the time, it's harder to focus. You kind of spent all your focus energy. And that's why I like to put my hardest tasks or the tasks that take the most focus or the most brain power earlier in the day and save tasks that can be done, not mindlessly, but take less brain power. So if I was going to, let's say I'm creating copy for an Amazon product or for a website, that is something I'm going to want to put at the start of my day because that's going to take more brain power. Whereas if I'm editing a video, that's going to take less. I can do that whether I'm super focused or not. That's something I can complete and still do well, whereas writing would not be. So knowing how much brain power or how much like deep focus you have for the day is important and what you're spending it on. Number four. Now, number four is something that will either help you a lot or hurt you a lot. 
and that is breaking a bigger task into smaller tasks. Now, if you're working on a bigger project, it's great to see, okay, I need to do this, 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 and you could even break those down farther. But if you're someone who struggles with focusing, this might be something where breaking it into an infinite amount of steps can be done. And it's just making you waste time and make you feel like you're being productive. And this is something I personally do. I'll plan to the end and never take action on certain things, or I'll write out like, okay, I need to do this. I'll organize how I'm going to do it, write each thing about how I'm going to do it, organize that and never actually do it. And yes, it might eventually finish, but I just took so much more time and wasted a lot of energy on something that wasn't necessary, but breaking up bigger tasks into smaller tasks can be great. So for example, if I'm making a YouTube video, I'll normally write out my subject and then I'm like, okay, I need a title, I need a thumbnail, I need keywords, and I need to film and edit it. So I have a little sheet. Actually, I can show you guys. So I have a sheet like this, where you can see there's videos at the top and each thing, and I'll use a highlighter like this to kind of mark it off. And you can see like here, what's done and what's not. So breaking bigger tasks into smaller ones if you have trouble for focusing for long periods of time because it is still possible to be productive even if you can't focus for huge amounts of time. And that brings me to tip number five, which is don't expect too much from yourself. So many people, if you see on social media or hype up, talk about working 10, 12 hours a day, but realistically they might be getting a good amount done, but they're probably not productive and they're probably wasting a ton of time. It's pretty much impossible to have deep focus for eight, 10, 12 hours a day. And that's just not realistic, nor is it healthy. Like I said, anyone you talk to that is higher up successful, they'll get their stuff done that they need to get done. That is very important early on, use that brain power. And then it turns into grind mode once you lose that focus or you're having more trouble. But that is why you save the easier tasks or the tasks that don't require as much brain power for later on. So expecting yourself to be able to focus for eight hours straight just is not realistic. You can break up your time. You can work for 30 minutes, take a 20 minute break. Personally, that does the opposite for me. If I'm working, I can work for two to three, four hours straight, and then my brain is done and taking a break will only hurt that. Breaking it up does not work for me, but for some people it does. And that brings me into tip number six, which is reward yourself. You can train yourself to enjoy doing whatever task it is, and you can reward yourself. And part of the training yourself can be working at the same place, working at the same time, having a dedicated spot where you only work. If I'm working in the same spot and I'm playing video games or watching TV or I'm eating food, that might, my brain doesn't know what I'm doing as much. It might work for some people. But if you do the same thing, maybe light the same candle, if you're chewing gum, if you're listening to the same playlist, whatever it is, your brain will start to learn, okay, this is time to work, and it might become easier to start focusing or even rewarding yourself. And part of the rewarding process can be when you've broken up those smaller tasks, checking something off is a mental reward that does feel good for your body, for yourself, and it does help. So that is number six. And brings me straight into number seven, which without looking at my actually list I have where I wrote down what I was going to say, I just naturally went into number seven, which was write it down and check it off because that is a reward and it does feel good. I personally, I have a bunch of whiteboards. I'll write stuff down. I use Google Docs a lot. I use notes in my phone. You don't have to use a paid app or anything like that. You can just write it down, check it off. And I personally like to have a digital and a physical copy because sometimes if I'm working on my computer, I don't want to have to go find whatever I'm trying to do. I like having a physical copy, but it's good to have a digital one too. So writing something down, checking it off does help a ton. Now, again, guys, everyone is different when it comes to focusing. It's going to figure, you have to figure out what works for you. Me personally, the biggest thing is working at the same time in the same conditions, same place and having no distractions as well as having a clear defined plan of what I'm actually going to be working on, keeping it to one subject a day and breaking that project into kind of smaller tasks and checking things off when I'm done and not expecting too much from myself. This is going to be something you're going to have to practice. This isn't something you're just 
Some people aren't born with the ability to straight focus and you might have to work up to it. Work 30 minutes a day. Once you hit that, try and get to 45 and so on. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. These are the seven tips that I use that help me focus personally. And I think a lot of these can help you as well. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.